Anopheles mosquitoes are up to 10 millimeters long. They insert their proboscis into the skin of humans and other animals to extract blood, in the process infecting the host with an often deadly disease. Malaria claims the lives of around half a million people a year, primarily in Africa and Southeast Asia. The risk of fatal complications is especially high among children. There have been continuous efforts to develop a vaccine to get the disease under control, but to date, only with moderate success. Developing a vaccine against malaria is difficult. The malaria parasite is very complex, with a large genome. This is a big organism and one with a high mutation capability. Just a few months ago, it was revealed that a malaria vaccine would soon be approved for use. However, the drug was found to be ineffective with many of the test subjects. Unhappy with the results, the researchers here at Tübingen University have been looking for a new and hopefully more effective solution. What makes this new process special is that we are going back to the origins of vaccination. We take the living parasite and inject a medicinal-style, highly purified sample into a human, but together with an anti-malaria drug. In other words, the individual is injected with malaria, but at the same time is given an agent that kills off the pathogen. The malaria parasite enters the liver, where it can be detected by the body's immune system. As it leaves the liver and enters the bloodstream, the malaria drug moves in and kills the parasite. The parasite triggers an immune response in the liver with white blood cells or leukocytes destroying the liver cells infected. At the same time, antibodies are formed in the blood to counter the parasite. The process helps the body to build up a defense or immunity to any future attack from malaria pathogens. Once patients have been injected with another dose of malaria, they are protected. We saw a high level of protection. In the first experiment, 100%, although our test group was small. A major advantage of the vaccine is that the pathogens cannot become resistant to it. The team in Tübingen have now begun clinical tests, the final stage before government approval. The next step is having to monitor tolerance in larger groups and then its effectiveness in those areas where malaria is prevalent, especially in Africa, Asia and the Americas. Until that vaccine is available, people will have to resort to conventional measures such as insecticides and repellents or protect themselves with mosquito nets. Okay.